trying to see how you could get them released. What are your impressions? My impressions are that there's a double game somewhere being played by who I want to know. Because about three weeks ago, my driver was shot at. You can see the wound still on his left ankle by the police that he was moving by 6.15, a quarter after six, which was already in the curfew time. Now, this was an individual moving, but a whole bus will drive into a school, carry over 80-something people, and the curfew does not get these people, the curfew will get me. Who is trying to deceive who? What are we hiding? Let the truth come out. Let the governor and his authorities here tell us what is happening. Let the Minister of Territorial Administration tell the Northwesterners what is happening. They already killed an American in Bambili and killed a lecturer in the University of Bambili. Bamenda, we know, is becoming the center of education and they want to destroy this because all the problems are facing now started because the educational authorities said there was something wrong with the educational system and for the problem to be resolved they have to destroy everything that is of education in the northwest all our children are not here now and they want them to come pay the heavy bills over there to go to school so they want to destroy the northwest the northwest is being destroyed by the government, not by Amazonians. I'm, I am an Anglophone, and the Anglophone problem hurts me, touches me right in the heart, because I'm not being given my due rights in this country. Kamto said he won the elections. He wanted to have a press interview. They went and arrested him, the following day they left him. But when I won the elections here in 1992, they held me under house arrest for three months and rain mayhem on the Bamenda people. Something has been hidden somewhere. Mr. Bia should come out and talk. And when he talked yesterday, I thought he was going to really appeal to the people and set a commission to investigate into all this. But he said, tell the boys to put down their arms. What's the guarantee of their future, of their safety? He is able to discuss and negotiate with the Boko Arams, who are not Cameroonians. But he cannot discuss and appease and negotiate with Cameroonians who are hurt. This is where my problem is.